the FBL Team of the Year so far has 287 total points. What? That score is good enough to make it be in the top 222 in the entire world, and that's without captaincy and without chips. Damn son. It is kind of breaking the FBL rules with um six players from Liverpool and is way out of budget, but we'll let that slide, right? As this is obviously a team of just the players who have scored the most points without actually abiding by the FBL rules. So it's not a team you could have had, but if you are a cheeky scrub and don't have any of these players right now, maybe these are the type of players you need to be looking at right now. So Alisson has scored the most points out of all keepers with three clean sheets in three. And not only that, has got a couple of bonus points in there, so he's actually outscoring all of the other Liverpool defenders. But despite that being the case, the Liverpool defenders are actually the defenders that have scored the most points this season out of anyone else so far. I, like actually not too many others, didn't have any Liverpool defenders right at the start and still don't. And I'm looking at this and just thinking, oh dear is already a big boy and like here. Yeah. They do also have great fixtures upcoming, so not only have they kept all these clean sheets, maybe they can keep coming. And something else that might also keep coming is you if you have Salah and Diaz, damn son. Salah, pff, 41 total points already. All of the points, all of the goals, all of the assists, all of the clean sheets, all of the everything. And Luis Diaz, despite being quite a lot cheaper than Salah, is actually almost keeping up with him, where he was also the same price as Jota, but way outscoring him. Maybe he was the one to go for. Cold Palmer has snuck in here, despite um, all, most of his points just coming in this game. So apart from the Jose Sartax, tax, he probably shouldn't be here. Brian and Bumo has scored a big boy 14 point down and 9 point during game week 1 and 3, so maybe he could be the one to go for, but not quite yet with Man City next and Spurs after that, but for their net and next few fixture run yes he's definitely in and boom saka saka 12 point during game week one a back-to-back -back six pointer yet to blank maybe not one to look at right now some people like myself are considering selling him to for salah in the short term but definitely for that game week six definitely for this fixture run later on you definitely need him erling harland has yeah just shown us he's still a robot but not only that he somehow improved definitely had a software update i think because he's now had back-to-back -back hat tricks and back-to-back -back 17 pointers to make him have 41 total points maybe he was worth the 15 million and he is also now the most owned player so if you don't have him yet yeah maybe you should get him in i'm sure nobody in the world looked at him for game week one where he scored a 12 pointer then he also scored against man united get all the points making him the second top scoring forward and also one of the top scoring players out of this entire team what? But that right there is the FBL team of the year so far. I myself only started with um, a giant two of these players. So that's, uh, you know, that's why I'm definitely uh, going to win FBL this year. But some of you fellas out there may have started with way more. And if you did, congratulations. Well done. I hate you. <laughs> but let me know how many of these players you did start with. And let me know how many players you now have from this team. That's going to be all. Thanks for watching. And also remember. <laughs> Don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now. <laughs>